quadratic functions take the shape of a parabola, a U-shaped graph that opens concave upward or downward depending on the value of the parameter or variable a in the standard form of the formula y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. It is true that we typically work with the quadratic functions and equations with only the coefficients, the roots, and the coordinate plane, basically the numbers, in mind. But do we ever find working with quadratic functions and equations valuable for everyday situations? Do we see examples of parabolas in our environment? Of course we do. For example, the beam of light from a flashlight. The flight of an airplane. The flight of a golf ball. Or a throne ball. The jump of an animal. Or the spray of a fountain. Or in a roller coaster ride. Actually, there are many real world examples of parabolas and quadratic functions or relationships that you may find interesting and relevant to your life. Here's a great demonstration of using a quadratic function to tell us about something that many people enjoy, baseball. We can use the function y equals negative point zero zero three two x squared plus x plus three to represent the flight of a baseball. Will you be able to hit a home run? Let's say that the fence of the baseball field is 315 feet away from home plate and is 10 feet high. We can use our function to figure out whether or not the baseball will go over the fence. When we graph the function and zoom out, the parabola will show us two solutions or places where the parabola crosses the x-axis. With the origin as home plate, the root to the right of the vertex is located at 315.5, 0 showing that the ball will land 315.5 feet away from home plate. If we check the y value where the x value is 315, we see that the ball would be about 0.5 feet above the ground when it reached 315 feet from home plate. This tells us that the baseball will not go over the fence, it will actually hit the fence. For baseball events such as the home run derby, quadratic functions are most definitely useful. Can you think of other real world situations that require the use of quadratic functions and parabolas in order to solve a problem? I bet you can.